What's up, y'all? I'm Whip Piker, and today we're in Rogers, Arkansas, at a place called Fuzzy's Taco Shop. Now, the first ever Fuzzy's Taco Shop was on Berry Street in Fort Worth, Texas. It was there that a glorious vision of taco heaven commenced, back in 2003. It would have frosty drinks, it would have delicious, amazing fresh food, it would have cool vibes and a place you'd never want to leave. Now, it became an incredible craving success. And today, I'm craving some nachos and some guacamole and some tacos. And that's okay, you know why? Because it's cheat meal time, y'all. What's up, y'all? I'm Whip Piker, and I'm a 46-year-old personal trainer who over 20 years ago lost over 100 pounds, and I've kept it off. And one of the things that helped me on this journey was my weekly cheat meal. I stay on a strict diet, but once a week, I get to eat whatever I want. So I designed a show a little bit about fitness, a little bit about nutrition, and a whole lot about my cheat meals. And I'm taking you with me on this journey. It's cheat meal time, y'all. Rogers, Arkansas. This is a great place. I can already smell it. And we're gonna go back here, we're gonna meet with Josh, and we're gonna put together some amazing nachos, some tacos. We're really pumped today. It's cheap now. Let's go. What's up, y'all? Hey, we're ready to roll. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Right. All right, let's already look at all this food we got right here. We got the queso, the pork, the beans, the beans, the rice, the rice. The meat, meat, meat. We got all sorts of stuff. I just snuck one of those chips with that, uh, what's it called? Fuzzy's does? Fuzzy does? Yes, sir. Is that a secret, special uh, recipe nobody can know about? I suppose it is. Is the secret locked in a bake and in, in the safe in the office? Oh, we do sell it retail. But it's got oh. the recipe or the ingredients on there, so I guess you can get it there. So, no, it's not locked in the safe. <laughs> so, here's what we're going to have today. We're gonna do some amazing, over the top. What are we cooking first, Josh? I have your uh, super shrimp for your Cali heat taco, California heat taco. California heat taco. Now, Americans eat, and you'll be interested to know this. You'll all be interested to know this. Yeah. Americans eat 4.5 billion tacos a year. How do you know that? I know all sorts of crazy you know stuff. All the things. Yeah. 4.5 billion tacos a year. Um, so and October 4th is National Taco Day. Did you know that? I did know that. You did know that. Fuzzy's usually does a dollar taco day on that day. That's just for future reference. October 4th, Fuzzy's Tacos, dollar taco. I'm going to turn over here and grab the chips for your yeah. nacho. Big old plate of chips. Big old plate of chips. <laughs> Oh, those chips are good. They're light and crispy. So, covering it with, uh, looks like uh, Kobe Jack. Kobe Jack and Monterey. Yep. Kobe Jack and Monterey. This looks like a flour tortilla. We're just going to be on that. We're doing the California heat with flour and your heat to be with flour. And if you spice the pork, it's going to be on the pork. It's amazing. Garlic sauce, which is uh, another secret recipe. Let's go ahead and get a little some of that in there. This is a uh, special secret recipe. We're going to taste that. You want to grab one of each of these two? Sriracha lime. This is the sriracha lime. Which is spicy and delicious. Which is spicy and delicious. You heard it. Oh, that's good. These are all going to get cheese on them as well. Cheese. California heat's going to get some bacon bits. Bacon. It's got a little bit of heat to it there. Yes, right? it does. It's, it's good, good though. There's our fried shrimp. Look at that. The heat of beef got cooked up ready for you here. Man, they're, a, they're like a well-old machine in here. They don't play around. And then behind you over here, I got some pork. Look at this. A little bit of that. Eels. Yeah. Throw that over there. Get rid of that shit. All right, so California, kind of do them all at the same time. Keep 
keeps our flow yeah, going. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Take it again. Look. Okay. Hey guys. Look at him. He's working it. That's some cilantro there. Yep. Lettuce, tomato, feta, cilantro on the, all of our standard tacos. Hey. I have a chip. I'm gonna have a chip on my shoulder. Yeah, Joe. So feta is actually, uh, which is kind of unusual that y'all put feta on all of your um, tacos. Feta tacos. Feta is a uh, brined uh, white cheese that's uh, made in Greece. Right. That is made from sheep's milk. They and call it uh, Baja style. Is why we do that. Oh yeah. Don't know how that. So there's that, and then we're going to hit it with some more of the sriracha lime sauce. Oh yeah. And just sprinkle the feta. You know uh, what, uh, what avocado's uh, favorite exercise is? Avocardio. Dad joke. Dad jokes. Dad jokes. That's queso on here. This will be something interesting for you to know too. I'm giving you all sorts of interesting facts. I love facts. Okay. Queso, cheese dip was actually invented by a guy, originated by a guy named Blackie Donnelly in Arkansas. Did you know that? I did. In the 1930s. That's pretty cool that queso, cheese dip, was made by Blackie Donnelly. We got a little pico de gallo. Right, and guess what? More feta. feta. <laughs> and then we top it with some garlic sauce. Oh, look at that. And there you go. Look at that. Let's go ahead and throw some uh, guacamole on top of that Absolutely. right there in the middle, yeah. Guacamole's pretty good. Made in house as well. Guacamole is made in house. Yeah. So there we go. We're all set. That's how quick they are here at the taco shop. They don't mess around. Good job, though. Come on. Now, I'm about to tear it up. Your cheese meal. That's right. This is, uh, can you see this? Bud Fernand hot sauce. I feel like that the reason it's named this is because, uh, this is, I mean, there's a reason it's named this. Uh, I'll let you know next episode why it's called this. What's up, y'all? Is this your order? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> so uh, right here I have uh, the famous nachos. Look at that. I don't know if he hooked me up or that's the normal size, but that's huge. Look at that. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say I'm not gonna finish that today. So nachos were originated in uh, 1930s. And National Nacho Day is uh, November 6th. Nachos were made by a guy named Ignacio Anaya in uh, Pedras Negros, Mexico. So it's a, just a border town across from um, uh, Fort Duncan. And some one night, some military wives came over from Fort Duncan, and he just whipped them up, and that's how nachos began back in the 30s. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, that is freaking amazing. We got the shredded chicken, which Arkansas. It's a number one producing state for chicken. And then something a little different, we got brisket on there. But that cheese dip is made perfect. Cheese dip was uh, actually invented in Arkansas. He gave me three forks, like, look at that. Like, he thought I was gonna share with somebody. You don't know me. Mm. That is good. Something's different is the feta cheese on there. That's not a normal thing for Mexican food. They said it's Baja style. Let's just get it right into these. Hey, do I have, do I have some more of Yeah, okay. Yeah, Thank you. All right, we're gonna try this California heat taco. It's got fried shrimp, that uh, sriracha sauce, feta cheese. Let's get right into it. That's, woo, it's got a little heat to it. Jason needs to try that. Woo, all right, delicious. Now avocado on there is perfect too. Avocados were uh, first cultivated over 10,000 years ago in South Central Mexico. And you know this. In the 1900s, avocados were called alligator pears because 
they had the skin of an alligator, they're shaped like a parrot. If, you would know that, unless this is your first time watching. If this is your first time watching, welcome to the family. Click the link right here to watch that episode. All right, now we're gonna try the pork tacos. October is National Pork Month. Na National Taco Day is uh, August 4th. That's got the garlic sauce on there. Right, it's amazing. Full of good shredded pork. Man, that's amazing. And that comes on a corn tortilla, which I love that. Oh, yeah, here's the fajita beef. More of the garlic sauce. Everybody crazy that I just take one bite out of each one of those. All you OCD people out there, you probably want me to finish each taco and then go to the next one. Funny story about tortilla chips. Tortilla chips were wasn't um, produced in bulk until the 1930s in Los Angeles at a place called um, the El Zarape Tortilla Factory. That's what it's called. It's funny that I just made that comment about that episode because that's the name of the tortilla factory. There was a lady by the name of Rebecca Carranza. She had an automated corn tortilla maker. And when they would misfeed and wouldn't go through, she would take those misshapen corn tortillas, cut them into triangles, and deep fry them. Pour on salt and sell them for 10 cents a bag. And that's kind of how the whole corn chip thing, corn tortilla chip started in the 30s. Guacamole is a uh, dip. Obviously, it's made from uh, uh, smashed up avocados. And the most common ingredients are tomatoes, onions, cilantro, garlic powder, lime, a lot of lime juice, uh, onion powder, baby powder. Look at that guac. That's good looking guac. That's good. You want to try some of that? Americans eat on average uh, seven pounds of guacamole a year. I'm sure nachos aren't one of those things you just want to watch people eat. You gotta try this uh, sriracha. What do you call sriracha? What? I don't remember. What was it? What good are y'all? That was the, the heat one. So, Sriracha heat? Yeah. What good are y'all? Mm. Oh, yep. Yeah. It's got some, got some kicks in. This is the butt burning hot sauce, habanero. So I'm gonna put this on a chip. Try it. Is that too much? Or that? It's one of those things that seems fine at first and then bam, it hits you. Now, peppers are, are rated in what's called Scoville units. Um, so, like a jalapeno, for instance, is about third way down on the list. And it has between um, 2,500 and 8,000 Scoville units. So that's how it's rated. In comparison to the world record, Guinness Book of World Records hottest pepper is the uh, California Reaper. So remember, the jalapeno has only uh, 2,500 to 8,000. The ghost, I mean the California Re Reaper has 1.4 million to 2.2 million Scoville units. Jeez, can you imagine? It's super hot. Now let's try this one. Somebody told me it causes you to lose your memory, but 
I'm gonna use all three of these forks myself. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that big chunk of brisket. Mm. That is good meat. Brisket comes from the uh, shoulder area of the cow. One of the most popular meats in barbecuing. You wouldn't think it'd be that popular in uh, Mexican food. But there's a lot of places that serve brisket tacos, brisket nachos. I'm telling you, I think my favorite is this uh, pork. The pork is so tender and juicy. But this California heat is good. You know, it's okay to fall apart sometimes. Tacos fall apart and we still love them. Do you like that one? Just, that just hit me when I saw all this stuff right here. Just made that off the top of my head. Vinegar, habaneros, ketchup, half fructose corn syrup, lava. Let's get it. Lava in there. Tastes like it. Probably thinking that later. <laughs> Is there a lava in there? Take this guac, put it on chip, put some butt burning sauce. It's hot, loud, and regular. Blooper. Chip down. Yeah, that, that stuff's hot. I'll tell you. Mm. Beef. 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 It's what's for lunch. You gotta be old to remember that one, right? You've had to have watched Saturday morning cartoons. That's the only time cartoons came on, kids. Mm -hmm. Saturday morning, that's it. You didn't look at your phone when you were eating breakfast, you read the back of a cereal box. Like, that's back when America was great. I'm glad you're on your phone right now. <laughs> eating breakfast, what's in this? Put that cereal box down. The best breakfast cereal. Lucky Charms. Lucky Charms is good. I was a big fan of uh, Cocoa Pebbles. Cocoa Pebbles, Fruity Pebbles, Honey Smacks, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Cinnamon Toast Crunch, yeah. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. We have a, a youngin over here saying Reese's Puffs. Johnny Come Lately. I'm gonna go old school here. It's Jeffrey Come Lately. Jeffrey Come Lately. <laughs> What's that cereal that always feel like it messed up the roof of your mouth? You remember that? Captain Crunch. Captain Crunch, yes. Mm -hmm. Captain Crunch, it's like, uh, for some reason, you, the next day you'd be like, the roof of your mouth would be all tore up. Okay, this one. You know what I'm going to make with that? I should have demolished this uh, California heat with a fried shrimp taco, this uh, shredded pork, which was my favorite, I'm going to tell you, and then this fajita beef, which was great too. These nachos had shredded chicken and shredded beef. Amazing. Amazing. Another way to finish it. But if you want some great food, you need to come try this place. There's over 100 locations nationwide, so you could be able to find one. So, this is amazing. That's another cheat meal in the books. And, you know, I say this every time. It's kind of my go-to. But I wouldn't say it if it wasn't true. And that was epic and amazing. I love that pork, shredded pork taco. Thank you so much for watching our show. We are having some great times. We're going some great places, and we thank you so much for your support. Go check us out on Facebook. Check us out on Instagram. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. Thanks for watching, y'all. And remember, stay fit, eat clean, and have a cheat meal to stay sane.